New Zealand's Nelson Tasman region is the home of sunny beaches, outrageous landscapes, and Nelson, a small city that boasts a thriving art scene, craft breweries and wineries, and a farmer's market famed for its local specialties. National Geographic sent my colleagues and me to explore the area and tell its story. Photographer Erica Larson visited the beautiful Abel Tasman National Park to take a hike and a kayak trip with local guide Leanne Jacob. Kia ora, no mind. Welcome to the Abel Tasman. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah, I wanted to meet you here because of this beautiful view looking over Te Pukitia. This is where we're going to start our kayaking today. Oh, it's amazing. The colours are beautiful. We've got a granite coastline, and in granite, there's iron, and so the iron corrodes with the salt water and creates the orangey colour. It's really accessible for all kinds of people. You don't have to be really fit and, and climb mountains. People can kayak or you can walk. We've got beautiful campsites right along the Abel Tasman. So it's a park that you can really take it at your own pace, whatever that is. Whether whatever it's... that is, yeah. yeah. We have a word in our, our culture, manakitanga, and that means uh, how we look after people. So it gives us great mana, it uplifts us when we look after people in the best possible way. All right, let's go kayaking. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Split Apple Rock. Toka Ngafa is the Māori name. Toka means rock and Ngafa means to burst or split. We know that 400 years ago, the rock was already split, but at one stage, it would have been a complete boulder. Everyone entering the Abel Tasman, generally, will come by here. So it's that well known. It's like the gateway. Just over an hour away from Abel Tasman, I went to explore Nelson's famous market, and what I found blew me away. This looks fantastic. We're passionate about real ingredients and the health benefits of that. Oh wow, that one's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit addictive. Triple cream brie with a line of shaved black truffle. Oh my god. Crispy outside, inside is still moist and warm. Okay. And they make you very happy temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Pick from Pick's Peanut Butter, and Pick, I want to learn all about why this peanut butter is so special. I keep hearing all about it. Well, I didn't, I didn't realize it was special. I just made some peanut butter because I got cross with, with buying peanut butter that's full of sugar. And I made peanut butter at home, and it tasted nice. You actually started selling it here, yeah, yeah, at this yeah, market. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't until I, I took it overseas to America that I realized that, um, that it was uh, special. And yeah. I can tell that this is a community that likes to start new things. It is, it's a wonderful market. I know that for a lot of people, New Zealand is high on the bucket list. Yeah, no, a lot of people say, you know, they say that, that New Zealand's on my bucket list. And I say, look, look, there's no point in having any other list. Just get down here because I know they're going to love it. I don't know why the world doesn't live here. <laughs> you know? Meanwhile, near Nelson, Artist and author Christoph Niemann visited renowned local potter Katie Gold at her home studio. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we're at your home and at your workplace and at your gallery. Well, we live here and work here, work from home, my husband and I. I use slabs of clay and I build things up, make mostly vessels. Tell me a little bit about the process. 
A lot of people have seen my work before. They want something representing part of New Zealand where they live. We look at other pieces I've made and then we turn that into a piece of work for them. Ones like this, I have put the map of New Zealand. So this is the old Captain Cook's map, oh, screen okay. printed on, so it's when New Zealand was spelt without an A. This piece here, the Putakawa, which is the New Zealand Christmas tree. That flowers every December in New Zealand. Would you like to come and see where I make it? I would love to work? see the studio. OK, great. Please. Take a little bit of yeah. clay, roll it into a ball, and then you pop it in to a little mould and pop it out and you have the shell. So with all the shells, I then turn them into these little bowls and these can hang on the wall as well. This is for a, a f auction, but it's got all the paper roads and the maps and the flaxes and what you'll see on the coast of Nelson. Yeah, from our trip, it, we felt a lot it was about the connection from land to sea, and it's beautiful how it all comes together again in, uh, in the sculpture. So the Nelson region is full of creative people, and we love sharing it with visitors who come here, especially if they give it a go as well. <laughs> this uh, has been a huge privilege. Our journey ended at Newdorf Vineyards, where we met Rosie Finn. This is nice. <laughs> so, mum and dad still live on the property. Their house is just on the other side of those buildings. They planted the vineyard in 1978 and did their first vintage in 1981. These are the vineyards that your parents planted? Yep, this is all of the original planting. So some of these, uh, well, these are some of the oldest Chardonnay vines in the South Island. There's a lot of respect for the soil and the land and where we are. It seems like Nelson is the kind of place that has lots of crafts and artisans. Am I right about that? Yeah, absolutely. I think Nelson's always had an abundance of creativity. This area in particular, you've got potters and cider makers and olive oil, and there's a lot of inspiration in the land. You've got the Abel Tasman this way and the Nelson Lakes that way. So it's one of those areas where it's pretty hard not to be inspired, I think. Right, well, cheers to that. <laughs> The Nelson Tasman region is truly magical. The people we met, the warm welcomes we received, the natural beauty we discovered. It's a place to find inspiration, a place where art and craftsmanship, natural wonder, and food and drink come together to create a culture of personal connection. <laughs>